Kids, if you want a strong argument as to why you don't need to eat your fruits and vegetables, well this is the video for you. What's going on YouTube? My name is Michael McCrudden and welcome to the most amazing top 5, where I break down the world into brilliant top 5 lists. Sit back, subscribe, and let me entertain you. Now typically we start off these videos with a question, I was going to ask you what's your favorite food, but we all know everyone's answer is pizza. So instead, tell me what is your favorite topping on a pizza? Let me know down below. Let's jump into our list with the top five everyday foods that could kill you. First up in the number five spot, ladies, we've got cherries. If anyone gets that reference, you definitely are Canadian. Nature's most beautiful garnish is actually packing heat. So on your next cherry picking adventure, be mindful. Now the cherry itself is typically harmless. The problem lies in the pits. Cherry pits, they contain cyanide. Yeah, not good stuff. Now if you were to swallow one or two pits, you'll be fine. The problem comes when you start chewing it. That releases the cyanide into your bloodstream and then you're in trouble from just one. Symptoms of mild poisoning would include things like confusion, vomiting, dizziness, and headaches. And if you were to go ahead and just chew on a handful of these things, well, all of a sudden you would have some respiratory issues, you would start convulsing, you'd go into a coma, and well, your major arteries, they would shut down. So ladies, don't eat too many cherry pits. Moving on to the number four spot, we have the real reason the Irish are everywhere. Them potatoes, they're deadly. Okay, so you won't get into trouble enjoying your favorites like french fries, mashed potatoes, or beautiful scallop potatoes swimming in a bowl full of melted cheese. <clears throat> just happened there. However, the green version of potatoes, they contain a natural toxin known as solanine. Now, if you think the green tint on your potato is just a sign of it not being quite ripe, well, you're way off. That's chlorophyll, and we ain't talking about chlorophyll. So if you see green on a potato, that is a no-fly zone, and I ain't talking about the Irish this time. The leaves from potato plants are high in glycolates, another deadly poison, so do not eat the leaves. If you do, be prepared for bouts of nauseaism, vomiting, dizziness, and it'll eventually shut down your central nervous system. Yeah, yummy. In the number three spot, we are taking a page right out of the Hunger Games of talking about elderberries. So when you watch the Nature Channel and the dude is cautious about what berries to pick, these are the suckers that he's talking about. Now, if you wanted to cook any elderberries, you'd be good to go. The real threat, it actually lies in the leaves and the stems attached to the berries. They contain cyanide. Green elderberries or uncooked elderberries, they contain a poisonous alkaloid. The majority of fatalities, they come from people who stumble upon an elderberry bush and they're like, well, if the berries are cool, the leaves have got to be great as well. And then they go home and make themselves some tea and they feel like they've cooked the leaves, but they haven't. And then they drink a cup of death. Moving on to the number two spot, we have rhubarb which I always thought was celery's evil twin. Again, we have a problem not with the plant itself, but with its leaves. This time, they contain oxalic acid, also known as bleach. There have been many documented cases of humans passing away after consuming the leaves, as well as donkeys, horses, pigs. Yeah, just the rhubarb, right? Should be harmless. Well, it is. Is it? Right. Okay, so cherry pits, that's a no-fly zone, as are elderberries and rhubarb leaves. Also, you're gonna watch out for them lovely potatoes. Finally, in the number one spot, we have the blowfish. I know, we all saw this coming. Now, we've all seen the episode of The Simpsons where the chef messes up and nearly ends Homer's life after serving him this deadly fugu. That's another word for blowfish. Now, the blowfish is perhaps the most famous for its lethal amounts of poison called tetradotox. It carries in its organs. Now, if a blowfish is prepared incorrectly, you will go into paralysis, and all of a sudden, your organs will shut down while you are conscious. It's not a good way to go. And on top of all this, there is no antidote. Regardless, some people continue to eat blowfish. Like, why bother? It's like playing Rush Roulette for dinner. All right, guys, that's all I got for you in this video. My name is Michael McCrudden. Be sure to check out more videos here on Most Amazing Top 5. Let me know what kind of top fives you want to see in the future. Also, what do you like on your pizza? Uh, I think that's everything. I'll see you guys in another video.